Hi, my name is Sean Harris Camp, and I teach at Holy Names Academy in Seattle. I want to tell my story about OneNote because OneNote and Office 365 have been the tools that have most transformed my teaching over the past 12 years. I've shared my love of OneNote with my classes and colleagues. Four of my students made this poster for their final assembly before graduating without any prompting from me, and I want to help other teachers discover how Microsoft tools can transform their classrooms as well. My journey with OneNote started in 2014 when I attended a professional development session in Orlando and an MIE trainer session later that year where I first learned about OneNote Class Notebook. OneNote has been the single best tool I have used in the classroom ever. But to explain why, let me share a story of how OneNote helped me show how much I don't know about my own classes. We use OneNote for everything, every day. Students take notes in study guides that I've created. These study guides, like this one here, have the College Board required content and thematic learning benchmarks in green directly from the College Board for AP World History. The students take notes in the notebook below. This helps students be organized and it makes sure that their notes cover the important content they need for AP World History. OneNote has been tremendously helpful for the document-based question or DBQ in AP World. Students can annotate documents like this one here. They can write notes about document sourcing, how the document relates to the prompt as evidence. We used to do this with pen and paper. OneNote is helpful to put all this online, but to me that's not transformative. This year, I had students review for the AP test by creating review study guides in the collaboration space. Small groups compiled notes on a particular theme, and in two of the class periods, they created 18 thematic review guides with notes for every example that relates to a larger theme. So what's the problem? No one used them to review. I found out after the AP test, they were too much, too dense, not focused enough. Was this collaboration? Sure. Did it help students learn? Not much, or at least not as intended. So I challenged them to hack our own class. I asked them to work together in groups to find a part of the class that could be better, demonstrate a need, create an activity for me to use next year to improve the class. I modeled the, this activity after the TV show Shark Tank. They created a new template for making timelines in OneNote and on paper. They created a format for students to make and share their own review videos. They even coded a choose your own adventure game to teach cause and effect in long distance migrations. This is what happens when sophomores take AP computer science and AP world history concurrently. They presented their projects to the class. I used forms to have students invest in each group. I graded the presentations in real time, provided feedback to each group in OneNote. So here's why this matters. I started with content review and collaboration, how I thought they should learn. But learning isn't about how I think you should learn, it's about how you, as a student, learn. OneNote and Office 365 tools allowed students to not only take control of their own learning, create something that has meaning not only for them, but for future students as well. This is different, this is new. To me, this is a glimpse of what transforming education can look like.